Man, it feels like the good old days again where Scott would just release new teasers like every other day or every other week. Man, this feels awesome, I love it. So if you can't tell just yet, yes, there is a new teaser currently on ScottGames.com and it is very interesting. So we're just gonna hop straight into this video, we don't need any other explanation. This is the brand new teaser and again, not quite sure what to think about it. So right off the bat, you can obviously tell this is obviously for the next Fazbear Fright book, um, Fetch. It is the exact same art style as the previous teaser that had um, Fetch in it, as well as the kid looking at his phone. Though it is not the same kid, because in the last teaser, I'm looking at my phone here, um, you guys can't see it, but I have a, a picture of him up right now. The other kid had messier hair, he had freckles, and he had um, a different shirt on. Obviously, you know, this guy could have changed shirts, but is definitely not the same kid because of the hair and the facial features. Next up, where this is, not entirely sure. I don't think it's the FNAF 1 location because we've never seen anything like this in the establishment. Also, I'm not entirely sure, but I'm pretty sure the wall design is different. I think above and below the checkerboard pattern in FNAF 1, it has those red streaks. Also, there's some sort of doll on the floor, and of course we're gonna get to Freddy later, but we're just gonna go through the smaller details and then focus on the big picture. Uh, looking at this doll, the first thing that came to mind was Ella, but clearly it is not Ella. It is definitely 100% not Ella. Different hair, different style overall, different material, different clothes, different everything. I'm not quite sure what is on their head, it looks like a broken stump of a tree that has like branches coming out of it. I don't, I don't know what that's supposed to be. I guess maybe it's a crown? Again, I don't really know. Who this is, I'm not entirely sure. It could just be a normal doll, but um, this is FNAF and it is Scott, so I'm guessing it's not. I'm sure if they're in this teaser, they do have a deeper meaning. What that is though, I don't know. And now we get to Freddy Fazbear himself, or some version of Freddy. It's not actually Freddy Fazbear because of the speaker, and I'm pretty sure Freddy is not two foot. So this really reminds me of Plush Trap, just the overall size, and for some reason that pedestal also reminds me of it. I'm not entirely sure why. I guess it's kind of like this Freddy's equivalent of Plush Trap's chair. I can only assume that this is at some sort of Fazbear location, and this is like a, um, a side attraction. Just a small, little animatronic to keep, like, little, little kids, like, toddlers entertained. Clearly, though, this man is not a toddler. He's also not a man, he's probably just a teen. I'm guessing he's gonna speak, because he has, he has a speaker. Um, and even though the other characters can speak without speakers, I feel like this is just an indication that he will end up speaking. Now, who the kid is, I don't know. Um, actually, who is the, oh, let me check. Could be Alec, right, boys? So for the description of Fetch, assuming that this is Fetch, by the way, if this is for Fetch, we know it's not going to be Greg, because Greg is the actual Fetch, uh, he's the guy in the story Fetch. If this is the next chapter in the Fetch book, it's either Alec or Oscar. Alec's description is, Alec launches a master plot to expose his golden sister for the spoiled brat he knows she is, and then Oscar is... Even the miniature grown-up his mom needs him to be decides to take something he wants even though he knows it's wrong. So if it's Alec, I don't know, maybe this Freddy character is going to help him expose his sister. But if it's Oscar, then maybe he takes this Freddy animatronic. Uh, that's just speculation. I don't officially know if that's what this teaser's for. Maybe he tries to take this doll and then the Freddy guy is like, hey, you know, don't do this. Stealing is bad. And then he does what he's doing in the teaser, which by the way, let's talk about that right now. So when you save the image, it saves as intomyeyes.jpg. And I didn't actually notice this until um, I saved the image, but I noticed Freddy's eyes were glowing, but I didn't notice that the, uh, the boy's eyes are also glowing. So my guess is, is that this Freddy character is trying to control the mind of this new character. If this is for Fetch, and again, not entirely sure if it is, I'm just guessing it is, because that's the next book that's coming out on March the 3rd, so that's the closest one, the closest one to being released. Um, there was a lot of controlling in the Fetch book, because we have the, um, the boy controlling the Fetch dog character, and now we have this Freddy character controlling this boy. So there's a lot of controlling going on here so uh, I'm interested I'm interested to see where that's gonna go the pedestal just looks like any old circus pedestal um to be honest boys this 
this teaser is very confusing, right? Because this is like the one time where we don't really know what this is for. The previous teaser, we knew it was for fetch because we could see the dog animatronic. But with this one, it doesn't align with any of the covers for the Fazbear Fright books, and so we can only assume that this is just one of the chapters in one of these books. Presumably Fetch, because like I said, it's the closest one to being released. Yeah, so that's really all I'm going to say on that note for the teaser. Um, I do just want to hop on real quick, and I want to go through- Scott made a Reddit post um, yesterday or two days ago, where he talked about the lore of the games and of the books, so I want to quickly talk about that, and then we'll end it there. Alright, so here it is is posted by Scott 22 hours ago as of recording this, so yesterday. I've enjoyed the memes roasting me about the plotline lately, but it does have a serious underlying concern for many in the community, and I hear you. The question is this, is the lore solvable? Since that's kind of like asking is the story complete in an ongoing story, it's difficult to answer. So, let me say this instead. Over the next few years, there are, there are a lot of projects planned and most are very story-driven. So right off the bat, we already know that we're good for FNAF content for the next couple of years, which is... that makes me so happy. Lots of the later stories will answer some of the bigger questions from the fanbase over this past year, in my opinion. Very few people will likely ever feel completely satisfied, as there are just too many headcanons out there, and so many great ideas on where the story could go. But I think there are good things to be found for people who are looking. All I can do is say that some questions will be answered, even if it may not always be the answer you wanted. Be patient. Let me at least say this. Future games will look forward, but look to the novels to fill in some of blanks to the past. Everyone in the community has been really great, and I'm working hard to bring you some great things in 2020 and beyond. It is very, very interesting because I don't think we've had a post like this ever, or at least in a long time. If you count the retcon thing, the retcon post got made a couple years ago, um, around this location. This is like the first time in a long time we've ever gotten like a lore post. So first up, again, I mentioned this, we are, we are set for FNAF content for the next couple of years, which is absolutely amazing to hear. Second off, this line. All I can do is say that some questions will be answered, even if it may not always be the answer you wanted. Be patient. Be patient. Of course, Scott did not plan this out at the very beginning. FNAF was going to be his last game of game developing before he quit and found a new job. Obviously, he did not plan out, like, ten games or whatever we're at now, and, like, five books, alright, and movies. He did not do that. This is one man creating this story. One man and one mind. It is just him, so be patient and be respectful. I have some of these, um, I have seen some of these posts. Roasting, roasting Scott about the uh, about the story, and some of them do go a little far. I will say that. So guys, be respectful, be patient. Just simple human being things. All right. Future games will look forward, but look to the novels to fill in some of blanks to the past. So obviously, new games are coming. But when Scott says, and let me actually um find his comment here, wherever it is. Oh God. Yeah, here it is. I think he just meant Fazbear Frights, and then Scott said, To answer your question, yes, I'm referring to the new Fazbear Frights series. So, when he says look to the novels to fill in plot holes, this is what he's talking about. This new series of books, Fazbear Fright 1 through 5, will fill in plot holes. I'm working hard to bring you some great things in 2020 and beyond. That just, man, it makes me so happy. I can't wait to see what we have this year, and I can't wait to see what we have coming in the next couple of years. So yeah, that's really everything I wanted to talk about in this video, the new teaser and Scott's post from yesterday. I think they're two very important things to cover, even if we can't really go fully in depth on what they mean, especially with the teaser, but it is worth, you know, getting the information out there. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Get hyped. Goodbye.